All right, well, let's go ahead and jump into Act Three of Courts of the Shadow Fame. You guys have had uh, quite an interesting journey up to this point, and uh, quite a hell of a day yesterday. Um, we have talked off screen about the things that I had missed uh, from you guys joining the Gray Ladies, uh, and we have also done individual scenes off camera, uh, off scene for. Uh, your individual meetings with Revik, the Blind Seer Celestial, uh, in the tower. So, we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and open it to you guys. You guys have all had your meetings with him, and you are at least in the courtyard of the, uh, the Royal Hall. Or the Royal Halls, sorry. Uh, as the last person descends the staircase, Prudence makes a gesture to pull everybody into a huddle. Oh, gather, huddle time. Gather around. Is it is it secretive? Do we, do we need a talk in Celestial? We can, actually, yes. I, I don't know if I know Celestial. We all should, I think. We, of course we've talked in it soon. before. Listen to this. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I, I suppose I do. <laughs> All she said was blah, 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 and Celestial, that's crazy. Is this the secret? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is not the secret. Um, well, I'm very excited to hear what you all asked of Revik, but I feel as though I am close <laughs> to bursting with the information that I got. So if I may go first... Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. I asked Revik, what would happen to Zobek if we failed our mission? And he sort of didn't technically answer me, but he did give me some very interesting info. He said that the king is being driven mad by Yishko. Y Yishko. Okay, but if you were to spell that. <laughs> If you were to spell a cute girl, I'm so sorry. It's so hard to talk in celestial. I'm still not used no, to it. It's, the it's demon not. lord of roaches. Ah, uh, that's what you're trying to say. She looks around, expecting gasps <gasps> and shock, <laughs> and getting none. She furrows her brow. Wait, wait, wait! wait. This wait. is this is who the roaches we talked to worship. Yes. Wait. The king is a Kyushiko? No, 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 no. The king is being driven mad. By the Shadow Fae king. king. By yes. Akish. Okay. By the other Now king. I'm understanding. This this could potentially mean why they've taken over Zobek. Potentially. I mean, it's just a theory. It is strange that they took so long to take over after the family had vanished, so that makes mm. sense. Mm. Why mm. would Akishigal want Zobek? I don't know. There's plenty of reasons to want Zobek. It's the biggest trading it, industry. It's in pretty the... cool, isn't it? It's the home of Heather the Griffin. It is! <laughs> I want to go home to Heather. <laughs> is Akishigal lord or god? He's the demon lord. Tendi does not know if Tendi can fight a demon lord. We'll be Are we together. sure we have to fight the demon lord? Exactly. Potentially we could just break their contact somehow. Or maybe inform the queen. And have let her deal with it. Tendi wants to talk to the queen. However all of us decide we want to go about it, as long as we're unified, then that is the action and the course that we will take. We move as one. Yes, Poppy. We move as one. Well, she claps her hands together. So, what did you all ask uh, to further our mission here? Oh, Tendi did not ask anything. Oh. I didn't either. We asked then Archis's brow and looks down at Tendi. Tendi was given Vic! They pull their scarf back and their <gasps> Vic peeks his head out. Oh, it's Tindy, the Tindy, little Tindy. lantern dragon. Uh -huh. Poppy opens her satchel and Sib comes out. I 
I have friends too. Oh, there's two of them. One wonderful. I, I guess I, I asked something, but um, <gasps> it, it it was more um, personal, not um, related to why we're here. Oh, well, I suppose that's fine. You do have a lot on your plate, sin. If it's not too personal, can can we ask what you found out? You don't have to tell us, of course. Well, I, I, I guess, well, you, you're all my friends, and I guess you care, so um, I, I just, I, I asked about Russell Quaid, so I wasn't sure what, who he was and why he was bothering me. Um, Russell and, Quaid? Yeah, um, it's 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 person who's um, whispering in in the head. Mm. Poppy looks at Prudence, and can I insight Prudence if she recognizes that name? Because I don't know if you guys remember, but in a certain uh, text RP, Poppy found out. You don't have to <laughs> insight her. She's just looking at Sin as if. It, it, she knows the information, but she's not angry or anything okay. like what you'd expect. Leofton is staring at Sin. Leofton is like as if he's like dropped the biggest bomb. You What's... said Russell Quaid, right? Yes. Um... Okay, just making sure I'm hearing correctly. He's um, he's, he's been whispering things in te terrible things for a long time, so... In your head? Yes. Are you okay? Do you need... Do, do we need... Would an exorcist work? Is that what that is? Tendi? Tendi doesn't know who Russell Quaid is. I don't think any of us do. That, that makes Lee Austin, like, look at Prudence with, like, like, a absolute confusion. Poppy also looks the same. She, like... <laughs> Why are you both staring at me? <gasps> that... Is that what she forgot? Mm-hmm. <gasps> you, you don't recognize that name at all. N no, only when Sin told it to me. He looks at Poppy and looks back up to Prudum. Is it a name that you recognize? Could you help Sin? I don't believe so. I'll, I'll... He, he just kind of lost for a word. He just kind of shakes his head, looks away. Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. You know, Russell Quaid, probably a pretty popular name. Tendy thinks maybe Poppy is thinking of Russell Crowe. Tendy confuses oh. his Time. Oh, the adventurer! Um, I've heard tales of him. Yes, yeah. yes, yes! Uh, she does, like, kind of give Leofston, like, a look of, we should talk later. <laughs> Leofston nods. Okay, and Leofston, did you learn anything? Did you ask any questions? I did. I asked about my family. <gasps> Your family? He... His expression, like, is pretty neutral. He looks like he wasn't very pleased with the answer. Are you okay? Yes. Can I insight that? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I mean, so, when it comes when it comes to something like this, obviously, Leofton, you're not, um, you're not covering it up but you're also not being forthcoming with it so like you yes. can just set what you believe from a 1 to a 20 the difficulty would be for someone to insight that uh, the, the kind of meaning behind your word do I have to say what it is or can I have poppy roll and then I have decided one okay well as long as you've decided one that's that's fine with me Okay. Okay, I will roll now. 18. Oh, that's high. Oh, wow. Yeah, Lee Austin does not look at all happy about it. It's doesn't seem to be like they're all dead and you failed as a father. 
but it's certainly something that has given him concern. Okay, I will make note of this. And... <laughs> they all have not properly been contributing to their 401ks like they should be. Can I roll insight too, the Austin? 10d2. Yeah, yeah. Prince doesn't say shit. You don't see shit. He, he just looks grumpy. <laughs> That's normal. <laughs> normal. <laughs> Teddy also sees the... It's not bad news, but it's something that's really distracting him. Is she okay? What, what's happening? Uh, uh, we found I out was, that I had has a... a mobile gaming problem. <laughs> no I, joke, look what she fucking opened she on my phone. almost bought $20 worth of whatever in-game currency that Katie is playing while Simon is playing uh, mm. D&D. I had my game open, hey, and she likes to gently touch her nose to the screen in random places, and she just got to the point where Google was like, do you want to use your credit card or your PayPal? <laughs> <laughs> you have the teacher, the responsibility of online gaming. <laughs> I'm for bring your baby to work day where you get to learn about loans. Charge it, mother. <laughs> Tendi uh, looks nervously up at Lee Austin and gives him like a little pat, a sympathetic pat. He kind of like rumbles, but doesn't like it doesn't soothe it to him too much. It's nice. It does make him feel better, but it's not resolving the issue. Tendi did not get to ask a question, but Tendi now has access to the library, so Tendi can find out information. Oh, wonderful. Would I also have access to the library? No. Yes. I don't have <laughs> access to the library, but also do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Poppy lost Poppy's library card. I, yeah, I was just giving it. You just got it. <laughs> <laughs> you just walked down the stairs. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait, but no, I, I had to go carry up. it for me. <laughs> I got it. Has. Like, you see, you see, if say that's the case, Sib's just like finishing nibbling his third corner of the card. <laughs> this is wonderful news, you two. You could study potentially Poppy's problem, and you could look up a dish a kiss a gal. A kiss a gal. A kiss and I liked it. I can't say his I name in her gal. accent. <laughs> a kiss a gal. Is... A kiss a gal. I, I can say it normal, I just can't say it in British. I no, it's the same thing, it's just a instead of a kiss a gal, it's a kiss a gal with an O. A kiss a gal. A kiss a gal. A kiss a gal. It does not work in British, I'm sorry. Aki not baby. For, not for this brand. Aki, drop baby, long time no see. <laughs> you just drop the accent for her. It's like, we must go defeat Akishigal. <laughs> I can Google for you. <laughs> I'm concerned for our lives if we step foot into that 7 11. <laughs> Tendi, we should go to the library for multiple reasons. Tendi wants to go to the library to find out about the royal family line. <gasps> Me too. You oh, see, so many books we could read. You see I Prudence a blush a little bit, and then she she leans down to you, Poppy, and she says, "Could I ask you a favor?" <gasps> Always. She like crooks her fingers so you'll come closer, so she can whisper yeah, in your yeah, ear. Yeah. Do not let this slip. But could mm -hmm. you please get me a book on why Midgard is flat and not round? <laughs> oh. Oh, I don't think we'd find that here. But I I know I know the perfect please book whisper, at home. Whisper it, please. I mean No, I I am guys. not giving anything away. But I do know the perfect book for you to read at home. It's <laughs> and it's like it's, you need it. It's it's like a like a kid's a kid's oh, book oh, that's oh, like oh, teaching oh, about oh, Midgard. Oh, like Midgard oh, is flat. <laughs> well, all right, I guess I can wait, but if you do find one, I guess I'll read it. Yeah, I'll I'll help you out with that one. Thank you. She stands back up and crosses her arms and looks away. Makes note, find book on Flat Earth. Flat Midgard, <laughs> not Earth. <laughs> 
potentially we could split up, have you do to go do research while we go fight. Oh yes, I've been dying to get my hands on the red. That's in frowns. What? I was gonna fight them. Oh, I dibs. Fight what's, off. What's a dibs? It means I get to go, because I called dibs first. But what is dibs? It, it it's I guess maybe it's only in Friula. When you call dibs, that means that you get dibs. And I get dibs. You know how you're not supposed to use the word in the definition? <laughs> <laughs> what are they teaching up there in the monastery? The definition of dibs is the right to share or choose something. I'm not sharing. Mm. I, I suppose I'm, I'm, I'm not ter terribly interested in, 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 in fighting, but... um. I was kind of interested in um, taking um, taking that, that bird, the, the one made of fire. Well, if Lee Austin and I can't agree on who's going to fight the red, perhaps we could try to get the dog instead and potentially also find the phoenix. Tendi can maybe find a book on the phoenix. That would be helpful. That would be very helpful because um, 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 I don't know that much. Um, all, all I really remember is. Um, can I roll something to figure out what Sin knows about this guy? Oh, what, I already you rolled last time. You got like a really high number. Did I? Yeah, you learned all the things about it. You right. learned that it's basically a phoenix and it rises again and oh, yeah, it's made yeah, yeah. of fire. All I am redundant. Stuff. You need to be taking notes, yo. Your... That's why I got you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that for nerds. That was the whole reason why we had you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Twenty years ago, before <laughs> before before, D &D. before we unpack some some long awaited, uh, probably uh, uh, psychological issues. Let's uh, uh, let's uh, first off. I want to I want to highlight two things for you. No. And, uh, Did you say no? <laughs> first off, no, I reject that. <laughs> first off, as you guys have exited uh, the Blind Seer's Tower, this place is, well, to all but Tendi, perhaps, and Leofston, this place seems to have come alive with people coming and going throughout the halls, um, even walking through the no longer door still a door to Tendi and Leofton, but just walking through an archway clearly out to the arcade, no need for a door required. Um, lantern dragonettes perched at the top of white marble stairs, uh, obviously, at, coming up to here. Uh, and you actually see the footmen begin to make their way over. That's what. What's one thing you see. I need all of you to make me, I want you to, I think all of you were pretty well interested in the conversations you were all were just, that you all were having. Am I correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Roll me a perception check with a disadvantage. The DC is going to be a 14. Holy crap. That's a lot of dice, y'all. That's disadvantage for you. I got the four. Who's got the teen? Oh my gosh. Is Prudence <laughs> going to be the only one? Oh, Why no. is that a bad thing? Oh man. Oh man. Oh. Get oh, there you go. Okay. Tendi and Prudence, while this conversation is going on, uh, you may be, uh, you don't have as many people to visually distract you, Tendi. Prudence, you, uh, you kind of, maybe it, fate happenstance or the fact that you don't like him <laughs> but you Hush. see Hosh walking through this open door not needing to fiddle with the door at all with somebody on his arm <gasps> slut <laughs> <laughs> this shadow fey woman is scantily clad in 
veils uh, veils of smoke that trail uh, along the ends of her um, kind of relatively see-through goals uh, her clothes <laughs> um, she is drinking from a uh, a golden decorative jeweled uh, goblet and she has many different uh, sorts of jewelry about her head neck arms or arms wrists uh, you name it, like waist um, and she is kind of uh, she kind of giggles something as they completely walk into the rest of the royal halls. You, anyway, I need you to find guys soon. hear Prudence bark a very surprised laugh, which would be pretty rare for her. That's funny. Did I miss something? Hush, his girlfriend! Uh, Tendy uh, points uh, frantically to where they are. What? What? Wait, where? I don't see them. You see the tail end of them and, <laughs> and what a tail that is <laughs> I'm not, I'm not yeah. <laughs> I need to take notes change uh, of course you do why see don't it. we go peek on Hosh I don't think that's a good idea why not it's funny maybe it's funny to you but we should give him some privacy if, if they're like like, how would you feel if someone was peeking on you and Lee Austin? It literally <laughs> happens all the time. Lee Austin nods. Who? All the time. Who? This is because Prudence and Lee Austin is out in the open all the time. That's also not true. We try to go off and do things on our own and in are interrupted. Cut to a okay, scene but... where previously they've tried it, and they've just been poked at with sticks by invisible goblins that they can't see. <laughs> But we sh we shouldn't invade his privacy like that. You're oh, such a spoil sport. Prudence I crosses her arms and pouts. <laughs> I'll make up to it for you, but I still don't think that we should do that. That sounds uh kind of rude. Well, we should probably keep an eye on him. He points at Prudence, not to harass him about what's going on, but make sure that he's. Safe. You said I was going to harass him. I'm just wanting to get a little, you know. The awesome stares. A little what? Poke a little fun? No, I just want, you know, info. We can ask him when he gets back. If you really think he's going to answer you, Poppy. Yeah, I think so. Him and I are friends. Are you? He said so. Mm. Did he? Yeah. Oh, wait, did Poppy tell us about wh the thing that you got? Is that the only component that you need? Uh, I got everything that I need. <gasps> ah, I'm excited for you. Foggle. I do need to see Hush, but maybe I can try to do this on my own. We could go um, see him right now. No, I don't want to interrupt him. But... <laughs> Tindy. Mm, you have a message. Yes! Um, can you send a message to Hosh saying that w whenever he's he's available and don't rush, that Poppy has all the ingredients to get Wicked back. One moment, I'm typing out what will be said. My god, Dad. I mean, you could genuinely just, like, not follow Poppy, Poppy's ideas and go do it anyway. You, ha just... you have free will. The last time we split up the party, we were attacked by two different monsters. Yeah, but then we've uh, split up multiple times since then, so... So we should do it more often. <laughs> we, yeah. we should... I'm just gonna wait till you least expect it. <laughs> the monster is. You did is... say. Sorry. No, I can't continue. Uh, you did say footmen are approaching us, right? Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that part. They uh, they patiently wait for you to to finish. <laughs> there. How nice of them. They are uh, not going to interrupt. Tendi points in Hosh's direction, and says nothing. And the message that they send is, "Hello, Hosh. This is Tendi. 
<laughs> Whenever you is available, Poppy has all ingredients and wants to speak to you. Who is the pretty lady? Tandy and Poppy is giving you space. <laughs> uh, a moment passes and Hosh It's because he doesn't know message. That's okay. <laughs> Uh, he does. <gasps> Did he learn it? Yeah. Oh, I'm so, so proud of him. He he's never gonna call dog new tricks. He's never gonna call me. <laughs> no. uh, the it's response... the equivalent of giving someone a cell phone and then they go, oh wow, thanks. And you go, okay, well here's my number. And they go, that's great for you. And then turn around and walk away. <laughs> uh, the uh he, Hasha's voice enters back into your head and he goes, That's good to hear that Poppy has all of her ingredients. I will be more than happy to help her bring back Wicket uh, later. Yeah. Hosh says he is happy and later. Okay. He's happy, that's good. Oh my god. Hosh says Hosh is happy <laughs> and later. I can't believe I used a pronoun. I'm so embarrassed. Shaking my head. <laughs> Please don't look. Senpai, don't perceive me. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we do have company, though, so we should... Poppy turns her attention to the guys just waiting. Tendi turns. Hello! Uh, the two... The two footmen, uh... Oh, I'm sorry. The one footman. Uh, that walks over uh, in his silvery armor speaks to you in a pleasing slightly echoing voice ah lady poppy much joy and welcome you are invited by their majesties to enter the royal halls please the courtiers will surely be delighted to meet you how shall we announce you um announce me as Princess Poppy Glitterbloom. Right. When you decide to enter, we shall announce your presence. Okay, thank you. Clink, 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 clink back to the uh, to the one door that's not really too far from all you guys if you are, in fact, standing where I believe you standing. Tandy puts both paws up to give Poppy a double high five. Poppy gives the high fives. I'm confused. Tendi is also confused. <laughs> but Tendi is excited for Poppy. I'm gonna talk to a bunch of people. I guess. When? I was never given a time. Why don't you go ask? It's probably... Uh, Ma'am. Hi. It's probably <laughs> for whenever. Uh, Poppy chases after the... Um, I forgot. Automaton. The footman? The footman, uh, yeah. You almost get, you almost end up running smack dab into the footman because as soon as they hit the station where they were posted at, at right next to this door, they immediately spin 180 degrees with their legs still extended and then continue walking back. And at that point you were following them, but at some point he swings around and you like almost end up catching each other. Hi, hi, I have a question and he begins concerning my invitation. Back. He's walking back to the group, but he goes, Yes, Princess Poppy Glitterbloom. I was wondering what time I'm supposed to go. Pause. Gets to, gets to the gets to the group. Stops. Whenever you wish. Okay, and is it just me or can I bring people? Hello, established established guests. Uh, and it, it repeats it again, but this time looking at uh, Prudence. Oh, ooh. <gasps> Hello, milady. Much joy and welcome. You are invited by their majesties to enter the royal halls. Please, uh, the courtiers will be surely delighted to meet you. How shall we announce you? Uh, well, uh, prudence. Uh, uh, prudence. No, just Prudence. Just Prudence. 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 <laughs> oh, I like that one. <laughs> Turns around, begins walking away. Oh, are they going to walk back again? Let's see. 
sure enough, if you guys wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. Turns around, walks back, looks at Sin. Ah, my lord, much joy and welcome. You are invited by their majesties to enter the royal halls. Please, the courtiers will surely be delighted to meet you. How shall we announce you? Um, um, well, well I guess it, I, I hadn't thought about it. Um, I, I guess you could, you could just say my, my first name. It, it's just, just sin. You just say sin. Uh, uh, well, well, well I, I guess I haven't thought about it. I think we need to just say the first word without saying anything else. Did you get um, nothing uh, from my mistakes? Well, uh, okay, um, sin. It, uh, uh, okay, um, sin. With your whole chest now, sin. 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 Teddy claps for I sin. I like that one too. Turns, turns around and walks back. Shaking her head. Waiting. Tendi is standing there with their hands behind their back, just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Are they gonna do it? Prudence takes out an apple and starts munching on it. Where'd you get the apple? Uh, from Banquet Hall. There's a Banquet Hall? Wait, sure. where's the Banquet Hall? Over there. Wait, no, I'm, I'm busy. There. <laughs> There are certainly carts going by. It's it is no joke. You likely grab one from a cart passing by for uh, fruits and vegetables and meats and cheeses. Oh yes, that specific cart was led by somebody called Banquet Hall. <laughs> <laughs> Preston P. Banquet Hall, please. <laughs> <laughs> you must be talking about my father. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrifying. What is that? I don't know. But, Something bad. But now it's going to give me nightmares. Total recall. You're in a Johnny cab. <laughs> it's been so long since I've seen that movie. Does does the footman come back or no? No. <sighs> Perhaps we just need to walk up to it. It's no, no, it came back every other time. So I'm thinking that maybe... Status is involved. Leofston nods. Tendi and Leofston must fight now. <laughs> Each other or someone else? I thought you got accepted into the Lords of Light, Tendi. You should be higher than all of us. Perhaps no, Tendi not... does not know if that is how this works. Oh. Tendi I guess I'm is. Assuming it in... was more prestigious. Tendi is in with Lords of Light, but Lords of Light is not Shadow Fae. Separate. Oh, oh, that makes sense. Leave it to you, Tendi. Well, it seems as though half of us can now accomplish the goal, but I think we should all stick together. What is the plan? Shall we go look for the phoenix in the dock? Should we get the hair from the horse? Poppy, we'd need you for hair that one. Hair from the horse? Yes. My horse. The horse, the, the golden horse. The blue horse. The blue horse. You know, your, your, horse. your friend, you made friends with him in the in oh, stables. Why the would you take horse. hair from the princess? That sounds like a a thing that I don't want to do. What if horse is shedding, maybe? It, if maybe you could shedding, just... then it could be easy, but... You, you, you could just ask her. Or you could brush... <laughs> their mane and take the threads of hair from the brush. I don't I don't think that's an, I think since it's the prince's horse, we're not supposed to touch the horse. All right, I guess the horse is out, never mind. So we can I, also You can do what you do... want, but I'm just saying that we... I personally don't feel comfortable. If you want to do it, you can though. I, horses we... horses shed now. We can move along. It is fine. We have other options. We only can do one of them anyway. Right. I, I asked the DM and he said. <laughs> <laughs> You've never met him. He's from Plasma. We all <laughs> said you were interested in finding a puppy for the princess. I we can group research that. a book on dogs. Okay, I think it needs to be a, a void hound. 
I think it's supposed to be a blink hound, right? Blink hound, thank you, Winston. Um, I didn't say anything, it was somebody else, but alright, whatever, go the fuck off. I, 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 uh, my voice got very, very deep all of a sudden. Or I can just go fight the red. I sure would like to do that. She looks at Winston. He's not looking, he's just grumbling and looking up. I think he's ignoring me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are you in character? <laughs> yeah. She like tilts her head all the way back. Are you mad at me? <laughs> Can yeah. you even hear me from up there? Or does you your see. cloud of arrogance <laughs> <laughs> block yeah. your oh. ears from my voice? That wow. makes him raise his brows and slowly look down at her. Thank you. Craning my neck to look up at a mountain is difficult. Sandy gets between them and puts their hands up like, whoa, 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 whoa. Be cool, be cool, be cool. <laughs> be cool, guys, be cool. <laughs> like they're raptors and it's Chris Pratt. <laughs> um, and they go, Leofston needs more status. So should Leofston fight? In exchange, what if Prudence fights the Black Prince? Oh, I like the way you think, Tendi. Tendi is very helpful. You I, I have another helpful. idea, but it's not as good as Tindy's. <gasps> Poppy has the best ideas! Well, my idea was maybe it's possible to do a two-on-two -two duel. <gasps> I, didn't, I don't know what the I... rules are, but if, if uh, the guy you need to fight can get like a second... A maybe... duel duel! It's like <laughs> duel, a duel, duel duel. Duel to the second power, you know? <laughs> so, uh, is, are Lee Austin and I on a team in this dual duel? Yeah, I think you guys would be on a team in this dual duel, and then you'd be fighting the other people who would also be on their own team in this dual duel, you know? That but at the same time, I don't like know It's like so much fun to fight with someone who's not pissed at me. Tag for team. some reason. <laughs> he does like the, the like... His arms are crossed, so he does like the shoulder up, like the mmm. <laughs> Poppy looks at Leofsted again, like we definitely need to talk. <laughs> People that you can see, everyone but Tendi and Leofsted, uh, definitely like look your way as they pass by, as you are not being pretty candid and quiet. Are you being pretty candid? We're in select deal, though. though. <laughs> That's you're still quite animated. They may not. <laughs> they may or may not know. Uh, I can assure you that the blind seer Revic is just like rubbing his his golden plate on his head, but no, the you guys are still, just because you're in celestial doesn't mean that they're, you're just standing there going celestial speak and is animated. You guys are actually moving. Oh around. no, Prudence is definitely gesticulating. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. they kind of go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I think we are causing attention, bring attention to ourselves that we don't need. Um, so we should, if we're gonna fight each other and argue, we should do it in the comforts of our broom closet. Or public arguing, and she tilts her head up at a very proud angle. I don't even need an inside check to know that's not true. <laughs> if, or... Um, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was just gonna say, if, if, um, if you want, uh, want somebody to, um, to fight uh, alongside, if, if it's... If it if it's if you want to um do it you said you said it like a team. Dawson, I would love to fight with you. And she oh. walks right past you, Lee Austin, oh. and clasps Sin's hand in her oh. own. Tendi, you want to go to the library now? Yes. Okay. You're oh my <laughs> word! Is it my favorite friends in the whole world? What are you doing here in the royal halls? Hello! We were just wondering about you out of character. How I don't, funny. I don't know what that means. Are Me you, either. You My are a character. <laughs> well, what are we doing here in the halls? Are we going to the, the feast? Are we going to the celebration soon? We were Teddy talking in the Lord of Night. Night. Oh my word, so many conversations. <laughs> we we have a hard time seeing who's talking at once because we're online. 
I still don't know. Very <laughs> excited. You sunlighters are such a unique bunch of people. <laughs> Tindy and I got into the Lord's Delight. We were <gasps> testing for blind seer. Well, congratulations. I have. I went there one time to get my fortunes told. <gasps> what? Jordan. Jordan, as he is like putting his hands under his chin, is he actually leaning on something, or is he just like? <laughs> isn't he? Nope. Did he bring like a counter with him? Nope. <laughs> nope. He's just he's just like this. <laughs> oh, <Aww>. precious boy. <laughs> I will never get away. Katie, you need to write baby girl on that. <laughs> My favorite smile in the whole world. You That's are very enough. Sweet. Okay. Well, I'm just I'm I'm delighted to hear that. What about the rest of you? <laughs> yes, we know I'm adorable. Okay. <laughs> you are very adorable. Well, we were just discussing on what further we needed to do, as we also got entry into the uh the 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 ladies the gray ladies gray ladies oh yes the gray ladies wonderful spinches mm. they need a favor and we were discussing not at all heated about what we would do next i don't know i find that hard to believe <laughs> you can be honest with me pru pru that's what that's what you all call her right pru uh -uh. pru i call her pru but Everyone else calls her Poo Poo, and it's a very good name that Tindy came up with. You might as well add another Prue on the end. Poo Poo Poo. There you go. I I like I prefer Poo. What is what is this about a party? I believe I heard something about a ball yes. earlier from someone else. Yes, it's coming up soon. The uh, I believe um, uh, uh, he knows the name. I do not. I will look it up. The blank! Yes, it's coming up so very soon. Very soon. Blank, what an evocative name. I know, it really just tickles your tongue, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, Jordan. So, in order that? To, to get into the blank, <laughs> do you have to be invited, or is it just a status sort of thing? Well, you know, I've been passing around your deeds and what you've been up to, and I will tell you, it is very hard to overcome the, the first impressions you've already made, but your boy Arison has made sure, with my gift of gab, to be able to sway things in your favor. <laughs> gift of gab, that's very, very good. So I've learned a thing or two. I see that some of you might have issues with status still. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Well... Worry none, friends, for if you don't have an invite to the courtesan's dance, that's the name right off the tongue. <laughs> if you do, if you aren't able to go to the courtesan's dance as an invited guest, I suppose you could try to sneak your way in as a servant. The mm. Austin's brows very slowly go over his eyes, like in an angry, <laughs> angry brows. He comes up really close to you. And you feel like his arm might be around, but you don't want to move to look. And he's like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Think Thank of all the think. barrels you could carry, big strong man. I mean, well, my nice outfit. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure we'll we'll get invitations. Oh, I'm, we'll get, I'm sure. We'll get. We'll get the statuses up. Yeah, you only have, like, um, probably hours. Uh, I'm sure it happens. It starts tomorrow. Oh. No, no rush. <laughs> okay, speed run. <laughs> speed run 80%, says Poppy. <laughs> uh, Prudence looks back towards the door. You know, Poppy, it is possible that there's an invite in there waiting for us. Yep. But didn't we want to go... With everybody? Yes. I thought we were waiting but for everybody. But if we have people on the inside, we could, she looks at Revik, sneak them in. Revik's nowhere around. He's up there in the tower. Not Revik. Arison, sorry. Oh, me? Yes, you. The cute little smiley boy. 
he's just, he, it's just the creepiest smile in the world. Like, I can't do it justice. But it's just like... <laughs> Poor man. We, I guess so. But I still don't like the idea of not going with everyone, you know? Well, I love the dynamic of the group. I, I just want to say. But I was following a little... Uh, a little man that was walking through here probably recently with a little hot trot on his arm. Did he go that way? He sure did. Oh, well, I'll leave you to it. Hopefully I'll see <gasps> wait, all wait, wait. Yes? Do you know who this was? Do the I know pretty girl? Hosh? Oh, the one with Hosh. Yes. Oh, yes, that's Ulara. Ulara's so pretty. She is definitely pretty. They call her Ulara of the Seven Veils. And I want to know what's up. I need to know why those two are together. So, if you'll excuse me. I'll oh, if, see you, you... if you'd wait a minute, don't you have something to say to him, Poppy and Tendi? <laughs> I smirks. do, but I said that he later. Remember? We had this conversation to put prudence to you, not remember? You. I, I, I almost forgot. Oh, he looks at you, Poppy. Poppy, I have heard so much from some people around here. Some people do recognize you. <gasps> they do? Yes, they mentioned you and some fellow named Pips. <gasps> <gasps> what did what what did they mention out of curiosity? I mean they they haven't I, I it's a number of people, but I didn't I didn't think to ask. Should I though? Mm. I think you should always mm. ask. <laughs> <laughs> he does get that close to your face. Hmm. Then maybe I will. And he touches you on your nose. <laughs> I'd like to know what they're talking about, at least. Oh, you don't know? No, I haven't heard it yet. Well, I I'm hope sure I... my ears will catch something, though. I'm sure they will. Now, honestly, I don't know how much farther he has gotten out of my purview, so if you'll excuse me, I'll see you chickens later. Good luck. Bye. I won't need it, but thanks. Tendy wants to hang out with that one. Hush is going to kill him. <laughs> Leosin, like, chuckles and nods. <laughs> if only you knew it was rude to go after him. Well, I can't control people. You could go after him if you wanted to. You have free will, like I said before. But anyway, I need to figure out what they're talking about. What do you mean, me and Pips? I barely know the guy. Maybe Pips and Poppy is dating. And Poppy does not know. Is that why he's mad at me? Because I forgot we were dating? <laughs> Did Poppy forget Pips and Poppy's anniversary? <laughs> oh no, I probably did, and that's what he thought was the insult. This would make so much sense! Uh, I hope it's not something like we're actually siblings, because this conversation <gasps> is weird. Can you imagine? We do. Have what if he was in. the long-lost bastard child of the Queen? Oh, I... Tindy, keep your ears open. We need to get all the gossip about myself. Tindy is so good at tea. <laughs> Sin, you're also good at tea. Different kind, but you should join in. Well, uh, I, I mean, I, I, I only have a, a little bit of what I, I normally carry. But, uh, but I, I suppose I could make some. <laughs> That's Sin. the spirit. <laughs> Let's, we should go, though. We have stuff to do. Indeed. Sin, would you like to join me in finding the Red and the Black Prince? Yastin, would you like to join me in doing something else? Yes. Bick, okay. would you like to join Tendi at the library? Why, yes, Tendi, Bick would love to join <laughs> Tendi at the library. He says as she, like, moves his mouth open and close. <laughs> <laughs> he can straight up talk, but... <laughs> he, like, mentally goes, oh, why are you doing that? I mean... Oh, I see. Sin nods and uh, follows you, Prudence. All right, Sin and Prudence will go off on their thing, so we'll just hop back and forth, I guess. All right, so Tendi, we're... I'll meet you at the library later. Okay. We're splitting the party again? Yeah, because yeah. we're smart. All right, let me find that battle music again. Where <laughs> <I put> that? <laughs> 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 All 
Uh, and this is the opportunity where uh, Lee Austin and Poppy could have a text RP, or we could talk it out here. Either or. So mm -hmm. let, let me let me get a sense of where everyone is going and what they're doing, so I can kind of jip jump back and forth. Okay. Well, uh, I know that uh, Poppy and Lee Austin. I almost forgot my character's name for a second. I don't know how. Poppy and Lee Austin are gonna. Uh, have like a conversation and maybe what what does Lee Austin want to do? He's Where do we really... want to go? Um, because Pop Poppy's first reaction is to go to the tree, but everyone's outside, so she thinks it's a bad idea. I guess going back to the room makes sense. Yeah, okay, we can do that. Stairs. <laughs> 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 you got this, bud. Big. And Poppy just flies up. <laughs> you got this. Do I have to roll for the stairs? And then... <laughs> what am I rolling again? Athletics? Uh, it is... Oh, gosh. You can make me... I'll have to go back there. Yeah. Let's see. Or yeah. you could just, like, let me go up the fucking stairs, Jordan. <laughs> just <laughs> let him cook. No. No, 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 no. Why do that when... We could have so much fun. There I'm gonna guidance him. I'm gonna pat his <laughs> shoulder. <laughs> and yeah. I'm gonna like, okay, yeah, just try to go to the, the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Has yes. anyone tried to seduce the stairs yet? We <laughs> often seduces the stairs. He just, that pin that Prudence put in the shoe, he just opens it up and just. <laughs> <gasps> Prudence uh, disapproves. You're gonna add a to your roll. Uh, oh, I, it's, it's on the map. I'm sorry. Let me go back to the map. Map! Oh, map. Uh, acrobatics. DC 15. You're gonna add a 2. Thank you. Come Ooh. on! Hey. 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 He's going sideways, both hands on the rail, knees <laughs> shaking. He's shaking. <laughs> Poppy acts like she doesn't see him, and he's like, I just rockied up that stair, and she's like, yep, mm hmm You sure did something with stairs. Good job, Dad. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Pull yourself up by your bootstraps, Dad. Let's get it. Okay. Yeah, and then I, I know that... Boots. Prudence and Sin are gonna go fight the guy, and then Tindy's going to the library. The library? You're not going with Tindy? Nerd. I said I'd meet Tindy, but I need to talk to Lee Austin first about a few things. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's... Uh, you tell me in what order do you guys want to do this. We got, so we got Tin Poppy and Lee off. Uh, we, we got... Roll, we, we could roll initiative. Like have if we do initiative, I would like to hold my turn because I'm still thinking about what it is I want to look up. So then how about one person from each group roll initiative? Okay, Kelly Either roll because oh. <laughs> <laughs> you won't get very high if I do it. I got a 19. A. That's higher than I would have gotten. <laughs> I'm gonna roll just a regular d20 to see what, what? I would have gotten. Why? Lee Austin just rolled a <gasps> d20, but did not actually roll initiative. Oh. Oh, you have a second chance. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will be changing it to a four. <laughs> okay. No! Which works out great for him. <laughs> it, it, it does. It does not matter either way. <laughs> So in this case, it's going to be Prudence and Sin, uh, then followed by Tendi in the uh, library, and then Lee Austin and uh, Poppy. So as you all go your separate ways, again, those who can see uh, all of the people, it seems like there is just a massive fair going on with the number of people. It's not packed like you see in the streets of Zobek, even during something like the summer Midsummer Festival. Uh, but nonetheless, it seems a lot more lively and celebra uh, celebratory with people in fancy dresses. Some of you even see uh, roachling duelists 
out on the uh, out in out in, in the uh, in the arcade. Um, definitely a lot more busy again. For, uh, unfortunately, fairly often attendee until you guys get your status up. Uh, that will be unknown to you, but nonetheless. Let's go ahead and start with Prudence and Sin. Well, Sin, I have no idea what either of these men look like. Uh, neither do I. Um, but maybe we, we, we should ask someone. That is a good idea. You'd assume they'd just be red and black, considering the names. She smiles at you. Well, well yes, but um, well, I guess we can't make that assumption um because it seems like everything here is strange strange doesn't even begin to cover it Celia. uh can we approach somebody that maybe looks like a duelist what's the word i'm looking for person in charge like somebody who oversees oh, the yeah. duels you know the person who over, you know the goblin that oversees the duels. <gasps> we do. I have his name. Hang on. Uh... White mist. Is mm -hmm. that right? Yep. Thank you. I love you. We <gasps> approach. <laughs> we approach white mist. Uh, you do find him currently occupied watching a duel, but nonetheless, you do manage to give his attention once the duel is finished. I do have this fancy table full of a, hun a whole bunch of people, and wouldn't you know it, that's the one I rolled? Oh, look at that. Spot <laughs> on. I don't know how I did that. That is, there's like hundreds, there's like over a hundred names. Um, so yeah, there's this table of like everybody you could possibly, if you like, I pull the closest person, uh, or I get the person that's closest to me attention i'll be like uh okay you get blah 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 so but sure enough yeah i know you get white mist who um seems to be a little bit lost in the sauce but nonetheless uh is looking up at you with a little bit of a expression on their face like it looks like they keep burping but they don't burp and belch out loud they're just kind of like that's right. Wasn't it like people could give him something for them for him to win duels or something? So he's probably like fucked up right now. This guy is riding the white, mist. the white, the white mist. <laughs> uh, you also know. I want you. Know, I also want to illustrate something. So this is like you can't tell when it's daytime or nighttime, but you can definitely feel that. Even though there's more people here, it is more evening feeling. Hmm. Um, and... The bodies are maybe getting used to it. Uh, perhaps, um, and. More importantly, a sort of chilly mist or fog uh, sort of overtakes uh, and begins to start seeping over the walls of the uh, lower halls. Interesting. Hello, White Mist. And Prudence will do her monk-type bow. Hello. My name is Prudence. I had a question for you, as you seem to be an official for these duels. That's me. Do you know where we could find the Black Prince or the Red? There's no Red Prince. Uh, no, not not a Red Prince. Uh, his name, I believe, is is um, Sir Yingris the Red. Mm, those are two vastly different people. Why do you want to talk to them? Well, my friends and I here, and she looks at Sen. We were interested in doing a duel duel. He almost immediately sobers up and he goes, You want to duel the Black Prince? Sure. Send nods. Okay. But we want to do it in a duel duel. My friends and I against the red and the black. Uh, sure. Sir, so, Sir Yingris the red. 
and the Black Prince. So do we just, like, announce it to you, or do we have to go formally challenge them? Sure. For, <laughs> for starters, duels are one-on-one, -on -one, usually. What? How can you convince me to let you two uh, do the Black Prince and Sir Yngris? Katie, what was it that he liked to have for being convinced? Meanwhile, in the cutscene, your, your main character goes... <laughs> Slightly... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And like every few seconds the goblin just grimaces out of nowhere for no reason. <laughs> he can he can be bribed to overlook a hit. He likes enchanted moments of bliss and ale. Ooh. Good thing Sin has a whole bunch of alcohol all the time. I have ale on me too. Uh Prudence pulls from her pack a Flat, no, flagon is a cup. She doesn't, it's not like a barrel. Hold on, let me look at my inventory. It's probably like a cask or like a jug. <laughs> yeah, she took some ale for Leofston to have uh, from Midgard. Oh shit, she did. I remember she, that. She holds it in between her hands and she says, I heard you like ale. Let's listen, listen here, White Mist. This is special ale. This comes from above. She points her finger up. This comes from where the sun shines. He falls backwards. <laughs> he gets this back up. This comes from Midgard. Ooh. You'll have never had anything like it before. And it's all yours if you let us have a dual duel. Uh uh uh. You must agree at first before I hand it over. Sure, do it, do it. Hells, yeah, she hands it over. <laughs> he grabs it and uh, roll me a perception check. Sure. Both or just her? Both of you, if you're paying attention to the conversation. It's going to be 18. 24. Dang. Damn. Prudence, you hear him go, <laughs> suckers. <laughs> She just smirks. Uh, I'm, uh, I'll have to fetch uh, uh, the Black Prince and see if he's available for a duel. And if he accepts. He must right. They must both accept both of your challenges. Fair enough. Hmm? Hmm? Yes. We will wait here. It, if it is accepted... It could be also in the morning. I was just letting you know. That is fine. Good. I'll be back. And you see him first run, like, book it towards the tree. The one tree. With now leaves that are turning more of a, uh, like a cherry blossom pink, almost shifting mm. into, like, white. Um, or white or gray. Like, it seems like the color is just, like, absently leaving the pink leaves. Uh, or, not absently, but just gradually leaving the pink leaves. Um, and immediately yarks. And then gets up. And then walks over to, uh, <laughs> the royal halls. Prudence looks at you, son. Well, are you excited? It seems we're getting it over our heads, and isn't that just the most exciting thing? Um, well, I mean, we haven't seen him yet, so, um, I mean, I, I guess, I guess I do have, um, I, I guess I am a little excited, but I, I, not knowing what they look like, um, makes me a little bit nervous, too. What could they look like that could be so scary to make you nervous? Well, I mean, they, they they do have titles. What's a title? It's just words, son. Everything here is made off of merits. It's 
not really something that is necessarily impressive. I'm also kind of worried that, um, because I, I can't control when when Mr. Co well, when, when Mr. Russell Quaid comes out, so I actually haven't been able to actually fight. Him. It's, it's always just been him. Mm -hmm. Does it seem as though he likes to fight, Sin? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure what, what his perspective would be. Have you never tried talking to him? Well, um, I, I've not seeked him out, I guess. I mean, other than when you and I were in, in, the, in the market um, district. Right, right, I remember that. Well, perhaps not now, or maybe if you wanted to. Maybe you could strike up a deal with Mr. Quaid. Let him out when he fights and tell him that he has to remain dormant when you're not fighting. But if you fight, he gets free will. Well, he's actually um, already made himself very clear about... Um, his intentions. Right. The whole didn't go back to Zobek thing, I remember. You see uh, whispers start to go throughout the crowd of this challenge that has been put forth. Uh, and a crowd sort of appears out of nowhere. Not in like out of the shadows or out of thin air but more just like people who are casually walking around have kind of like started to converge a little bit and it's feeling a little crowded where you're at but nonetheless um you eventually see riding upon a blue horse um, great. what you would imagine would be the black prince he stops Lazulin uh, behind the crowd of people and perhaps maybe some stable hand or keeper of the stables takes uh, Lazulin into the stables as it appears that uh, he has just recently came back from outside of the court walls. And this being begins to approach you. A very tall, uh, I wouldn't say like tank of a man um, but he is certainly adorned in fine armaments his eyes are completely black with just the light ma making small dots uh, on his eye where his iris would look more than likely be his long curved horns uh, like like truly like a ram's uh, curl back behind his head and he comes marching wow. forward with his uh, his glaive, uh, still at, you know, like basically as he's using it as sort of like a staff, and the blade kind of digging slightly into the ground as he walks. He is quite a uh, a sight to behold, imposing and, and formidable, mm -hmm, wearing what appears to be half plate armor. And he stands and walks uh, to the clearing that has been kind of just formed by the crowd that has been around. Uh, and he looks down at the both of you just slightly. He's just a little bit. He's not like the Austin, but he goes, Are you the two? We are. That issued the challenge. We are. White Mist, and you see uh, White Mist stumble, stumble through the crowd, already, like, probably halfway done with that drink, just like... <laughs> <laughs> yes, you preach! <laughs> I decline. <gasps> Why do you decline? You hear giggles from people within the crowd. He goes... You must not have been here very long. Your status is so low, it's not worth dueling you. 
Status has nothing to do with strength. You keep telling yourself that. Have fun with Sir Yngris. I hear he, he looks around, battles anybody. And then there's more laughter and he goes, So perhaps maybe one of you. Or who knows? Maybe you both are just as capable of dueling as you are of knowing your opponent. You both could see if you could both take him on. <laughs> Goodbye. Turns around and begins walking away. Britain sneers. What a pile of whole shit. Coward. Maybe he is, um... I, I guess a, a... A coward? Is well, that what I, you're I, looking for? I was just going to say, maybe he has his, his, his status, um... Or, uh, in, in, in... Sorry, I've been kind of, um, mixed up, I guess, but, um, maybe he fears losing status. He places a very gentle hand on your shoulder. It's all right, and I'm just angry. Uh, do you guys remember the helpful, uh, knight that was, uh, with you guys? No, the helpful L, knight. Uh, e something. Hang on, I got him too. The guy was... with the banner and the cookies. Yeah, the guy with the cart or the table. Yes. Okay, I remember. Whistle branch. No. Yeah. That, that fought sin. No. Uh, Hang on. Squire Scutalius Thornwalker. Yeah. Scutalius Thornwalker mm -hmm. of House Rivenwood. Uh, Scutarius does, in fact, uh, appear in the crowd, and recognizing you kind of makes his approach after the Black Prince leaves the crowd, which the crowd clearly parts for him to go back to probably the stables. As he approaches Prudence, it is very obvious she is very angry. Her tail is flicking back and forth, her brow is furrowed, and she has the ugliest sneer on her face. Oh my, what seems to have gotten you upset? The Black Prince turned down our invite to a duel. Oh. Oh. And, and you were expecting to duel him? Of course. If you don't, you lose your status. Isn't that how it works? Not if someone is as high of a status, way higher than yours. What would he have to lose? It's not so much that, dear Prudence. It's more, what do you have to gain? What is it worth to him to spend time on someone like you, Orson? No offense to both of you. You're fine people. You've been doing rather well, I've heard. He sort of rolls her eyes, not at what he's saying, but just at the concept in general. It, when your status is so vastly different, you could very well call him a slur to his face. He wouldn't, there wouldn't be any sort of... Everyone sides with the prince. That's where the status is. is... What, what, what status do you, would you need to take him on? Oh my. Um, my assumption would be... Uh, enough to almost be able to be invited into a private affair with the queen herself, almost. He's part of the royalty around here. He sort of looks back at from where they came, and she goes, <laughs> How do you do it, Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> what? The, the ch sound that you did the other day. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> Because she just got an invite, but she forwent it. Ugh. Oh, oh uh, you were trying to take on the Black Prince by yourself? That doesn't seem like a, uh, a novel idea. Uh, you may oh. have taken a, a, a beating from uh, the, that Soglav, but uh, that Soglav is nothing compared to even just dueling the Black Prince. I fought much bigger and much worse than some man. Jamie would be so proud of you right now. <laughs> Somewhere Mara is clapping. Well, that, that may be so, uh, but again, here, 
it's not about who's toppled what greater being there be existing in the the lit lands. Uh, there's so many names for that for the overworld. Uh, but more all that matters here is doing things that benefit your status and socially being adequate. You might be an excellent fighter, but if you are inadequate with your mouth and your emotions, that will <laughs> that will get you not far. In fact, I uh, I met I, I was just talking to somebody earlier who did a social full part and lost status. Would you believe it? It's not just a s ascending scale. You can in fact lose status if you run your mouth. She frowns. Unfortunately, that's not something I'm very good at, is keeping my mouth shut. Oh, well, I suppose a good term would be to quit while you're ahead, then. <laughs> she laughs. I apologize if I seem like I'm angry at you. Oh. And my temper is short. I take it no is... offense. Good. It is just a situation. Mm. Something I'm not used to. Uh, I heard white mist shouting from backside of the of the crowds, you were wanting a duel duel? What is it? A, 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 why are you saying the same word twice? Are you having a stroke? <laughs> she laughs and looks at Sin. Well, our little scholar, Tendi, she came up with it. It's sort of a word play. It's a duel duel. Mm. As in double duel. Well, I over we thought, we thought it might be fun if Sin and I tag teamed. And fought the red and the black together. Uh, the the red prince. Yingris. Oh, Sir Yingris, good fellow, good fellow. He does. Uh, I heard what the prince said, and you, although might be a slight against the Sir y the the brave Sir Yingris, but uh, tis true. I am afraid the Sir Yingris will duel anybody. He is a capable fighter. Um, so. If you wish, perhaps you could co you could convince him to duel you both separately. Although I'm sure there probably will be extra rules involved. No, no. Uh, I mean, in unless he wants to, the whole <laughs> idea was a duel. Duel. I still will fight Sir Yngris, as it was my original intention. Mm -hmm. But I could say that I have more respect for this man than the Black Prince. And I. I understand you completely my 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 young prudence unfortunately and don't take this the wrong way nobody here cares <laughs> she gives like a very like defeated laugh oh, i understand well i'm sure that uh, sir yingris will be more than happy to uh, to, to face off. I don't know if he dueled earlier, but uh, certainly you'll get a better a better audience and a, a rousing fight from him uh, than just simply waiting around for a prince that didn't really even need to show. Hmm. Indeed. Um, Prudence, if you, if, you, if you want to fight him, um, you can go ahead. I, I, mean, I probably should take a duel on, but... Um, I mean, I, I guess you, you go first. All right, then. Thank you. It'd be good to get some of this energy out. You see, uh, you see somebody that is standing. Hold on, actually, both of you. I need another perception check, not with this advantage, just a flat, just a regular roll. Um, it's going to be a eighteen again. Uh, we both failed. Okay. So you can be able to duel Sir Yingris the Red um, more than likely first thing tomorrow. Um, he, there would be stipulations that he would be placing forward in accepting the challenge. Okay. He is aware, as word has gotten out on your last duel, that you are a fighter who does not have any need for, uh, for armor, yet... Uh, yet is capable of defending even the uh, the strongest bro blows to break armor. So he proposes that if you are going to be fighting, he will also fight in his armor. 
My coward. She will counter offer that he could wear light armor. Light armor? Mm hmm. He will accept. All right. Um. Uh, okay. So then I will. I'll prepare that duel for the morning. I'll see if I can find him in here. But while I'm doing that, Tendi, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you're alone in a library. I have a list of things Retreat. I want to look up. What would? How do we want to do this? Oh um, Lord! If you have if you have a list, I would have liked it beforehand. But I can do my. I best. put it in the chat. A bit ago. Right before the game started. 8.52, baby. 8.52 yesterday would have been even better, but I'll see what I can do. Alright, let's... Uh, you can always do it a different time. We shall multitask. Um, Alright. Uh, let me go back to that list. There we go. Nope. Okay, there's a uh, hold on. There's uh, so much it's stuff going on. At the bottom. Keep going. There it is, the bottom. There. Okay. Uh, all right then. So you are just go ahead and tell me what you're wanting to uh, uh, to look up first. Uh, the history. Any history that they have on Zobek or the land that Zobek stands on, like maybe something saying. In in this year, we were in this place, or we own this place. Uh, this is not information that you are going to be able to find here, un unfortunately. But fortunately, uh, you find a general history that mentions the uh, the time where Fey were both on uh, both in the uh, the twilight and the and the sunlight. Uh, and claimed all of the lands uh, surrounding the Margrave Forest as their own for many, many miles. If you're wanting more specific things, then uh, you know that one of the scholars, if you were to ask at least one person, would likely tell you that in order to, in order to get that sort of information, perhaps there's a royal library. This is more in regards to... Most of the material here is in regards to um, either cores or, uh, you know, fighting fiends and, or, you know, the defense against fiends, strategies of fiends, uh, 10 things I hate about fiends. Huh. Is, uh, hang on, I have to look up how to spell his name. Kazissier, Kazissier, mm -hmm. would he be in here as a demon? Or whatever uh if you try to look up if you look for demons um they He's go a demon right you don't know okay you've never okay. seen you've never seen a demon like like him looking up demons though however you don't seem to find anything that uh they mostly go by titles but uh most of the demons at least the big ones are relatively well known um to some degree by the, speaking of, have you ever heard of Akyashigal, Demon Lord of Roshans? Um, I could, if you wish, give you a uh, a list of most popular demons brought to you by the Pitch Weekly, and the Pitch meaning like fire and brimstone pitch. But ha, thanks. You're welcome. You know I got you. I will have to look that up, though, because every time I try to look up Demons of Midgard, it goes, Oh, you mean, like, the video game? And I'm like, no. Could I look up a, a Kishigal? You can. It's literally the only thing on this list that will have anything to do with this. Boy, oh boy. Do, if there's one thing you can find in here, it is the sworn enemy of the Lords of, <laughs> the Lords of Light. Uh, for yeah, Akishigal. What uh, what exactly are you wanting to to learn?
Uh, why? Is he the sworn enemy of the Lord's Light? Oh, like, okay. what's the fight? What's happening here? What's the tea on these guys? Why are the girls fighting? Why are the girls fighting? Why are the girls fighting? They need to stop that. Man, I should have gone off and done something else. This is a bummer, actually. I don't uh, care too much about this Roach Lord. Yeah, let's see. But we need to learn, because uh, if it's affecting the king, we'll need to stop him. Yeah, let's see. Uh, as far as there are a few, there are a few books on just the history itself of Vecchia Chagall, at least from known from the Lords of Light that have been recorded. Uh, and then there are like thesis, thesis, uh, theses. I can't hear. I might have my full headset on. Theses. Theses. Um, Reese's theses. Uh, as far as why they believe that the Vecchia Chagall, the Demon Lord of Roaches, is here in the Shadow Courts. Okay. Uh, the thesis, the thesis is pretty clear that they believe uh, that Ekishigal is here to simply uh, rise through the status ranks to perhaps maybe join the court through either fear or force. This being a relatively... Well, compared to other endeavors, perhaps, unlike the dragons that tried to overtake Nuria Natal and all of that area um, from the Maharoti uh, range, mountain ranges, to all of the various wars that have ever happened, this one seems to be probably, for, for someone who is ambitious as a demon lord, might be one of the easiest ways to take over something. But that's just a thesis. A game thesis. Ha. Thanks again. You're Pre welcome. Big preach, big preach. Uh There Sorry, are I had a You're good. There are so the uh Akishigal is from the abyss or the equivalent of um and has known to cause trouble throughout many, many timelines, uh, many, you know, ages ago. Um, there was a, a point in time where he was uh, on a, on a bend capturing humans from the surface world and putting them into pods that transfer, that transformed them into roachlings. Uh, that's not to say that every single one of them, every, every roachling was a previous human, uh, but nonetheless, uh, let's see here. He sired the entire race of roachlings in his image. And he does actually have quite a following among like the urban dispossessed or the slum dwelling poor. Shrines are usually in abandoned houses, uh, tanneries, sewers butcher yards, things of that nature. Uh, in his shrines, any kidnapped victims find themselves submerged in filth up to their necks. And while the Lord Demon Lord's cultists chant, sacramental roaches feast on the prisoner's eyes and tongue. And a victim who survives the rites dumped back into the streets. Those who typically follow Akishagal are evil. No surprise there. Uh, and they typically try to follow the creed of no matter how uh, hard or how difficult the opposition or how they are driven off or crushed, uh, they will always resurface among the teeming mods of the downtrodden. Okay. 
And then you've got one for the courtesan dance. Yeah, what is this? Uh, I could just ask people this, I guess. No, you can also look it up, Dave. It's not like it's the first dance ever. Uh, it is... Uh, the courtesan's dance is essentially a uh, one of the many parties that uh, the Shadow Fae throw in and out of every season. Um, usually there is uh, a large feast, a wine and toast, uh, the queen's toast, and uh, dancing. Not dancing in the sense of like everyone out on the dance floor everybody clap your hands but more there being like courtesans and courtiers that are that perform in front of uh, everybody uh for entertainment uh and you can learn you know i'm gonna let this i'll let this be a good benefit for you you learn some rumors because again lords of light are they love some rumors. So I'm going to have you roll me some odd dice. I don't know if you can't. You're not going to probably be able to do it on uh, Fantasy Grounds. So if you want to pull up Google real quick, I'll give you the, the D. What what D is it? Uh, I'm going to have you roll three sets or three dice of 1D33. So I'm going to give you gossip from the lower servants gossip. The, uh, actually, I'm sorry. Four. My my apologies. Uh, I will give you one rumor from each of the groups of either the servants gossip, low gossip, courtier gossip, and perhaps you might get lucky and even get royal gossip. We need th four of them, yes. Uh, 32, 4, 21, 32 again. Rep uh, repeat those again. 32, 4, 21. And 32 again. Yeah. Okay. Very well. Uh, so you learn that the underlings of the cook, cook Blazing Barda and other servants are children stolen from the mortal world and spell cloaked to look fey. Blazing Barda. I can barely hear you with this headset. What did well. you say Blazing Barda was? The, Give me that cook, again. A cook. The underlings of the cook Blazing Barda and other servants are children stolen from the mortal world and spell cloaked to look fey. Uh, next up, four. At twilight on the night of the waxing moon. The shades come back for their due. And number 21. This is among courtier gossip. The queen visits the king but rarely. More often, she sends those who displease her into the spiral maze to amuse the moonlit king or to die at his hands. And let's see, 32. Marrying off the princess might be the queen's best solution to resolve rivalries at court, since it would remove one of the dark pair from further politicking. However, she... Huh? Give me that again. Marrying off the princess might be the queen's best solution to... Resolve rivalries at court? since it would remove one of the dark pair from further politicking. However, she fears marriage to either of them might also embolden them to seize power.
is this I need to clarify so Poppy's mother is the summer queen mm -hmm. so this queen that is here now is not the summer queen this is not Poppy's mother it's the, it's the queen there is only one queen okay and only one king they will often from what you are aware trade off on their uh, their particular seasons but everyone should know I believe I've mentioned at least once that she's been in this position for longer than she normally would be because it's now winter at least that's when you had left Zo Zobek in the crossroads so is it only a half a year essentially then that they're in power yeah, they usually probably switch off every six months. So Poppy has only been a princess for half a year? No. They're... It's like having a president and first lady, but imagine, like, for six months, the first lady does something, and then for the other six months, the president handles things. The first okay. lady, they're still both rulers. Okay. It's just that they essentially take the precedence over the yeah yeah time. sometimes it's a regency sometimes it's a yeah yeah mm -hmm. it's giving like persephone and like yes the it's giving hades persephone yeah, for hades sure. persephone. yes yes quite quite uh there is of course a elaborate menu and everyone at the courtesan's dance makes sure to remember and know and speak everyone's relative names and or titles. What? Give me that again. Which part? All of it? What? What did you just say? Was that a rumor? No. Or you were just giving more information about the courtesan Okay. There's an elaborate menu, and everyone Thank speaks you. everyone's names and titles. Okay. Yes, Angie. Quite like Elysium. Not, there's no menu at Elysium, though. What's the spiral maze? Uh... Hmm... I'll have you look. I'll have you look that up. Go ahead and uh, give me an investigation check. Oh, that was so close to an eighteen. What'd you get? Seven. So the spiral maze is obviously not within the courts themselves. Uh. But there, but a, but not probably far away. Um, it is essentially where every, anyone who gets like sent away that has basically done the queen dirty will get sent to this maze labyrinth to essentially either, uh, you know, face whatever. Amuse the king or die at his hands. Yep. Okay, so it's just a place. Mm hmm Okay. Does anybody else have anything that I can... I th think you're good. There's stuff that Poppy wants to look up. up yeah, too, there's a bunch but... of stuff that I want to look up, but none of that information is here, so I'll have to figure something else out. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, so I guess we can leave it at this. Poppy and uh, the Austin, did you want to do it as a text RP, or do you want to go ahead and do it now? Because I can uh, load up uh, Sir Ingress. Um. Uh...
What do you want to do? <laughs> oh no. Um, I think we could probably do it as a text RP. Okay. Give them some time to fight. Sure. Okay. You get started though. I'm doing it now, man. Hey. All right, then Prudence. Would you want to I'm say foreign ready? Do we want to say that everyone essentially? Uh, I mean, it's towards evening, anyways. That everyone uh, takes their their long rest. Sure. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Rest. And since you all have your hit points back, since uh, uh, the Blind Seer had healed your wounds, awfully nice of them. Terribly nice. Uh, then we shall kick this off and get this party started. So ready to fight. You ready, Prudence? Yes, I'm ready. Why do you have to be weird about it? Now, hey, Prudence, isn't Angie pretty? I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So again, just to kind of cover dueling. Do we? Do you have the gist of it? It's not an actual fight. It is a duel. Do we need to go over the the rules? Uh, no, I remember them. You do. Okay. All right. Well, then we shall go ahead and roll initiative. Not that it matters, but I can have you towards the top of the uh, the combat tracker. I'm sorry. I was briefly distracted by the chat. What did you say? Uh, roll initiative so you can be at the top of the combat tracker. I know it doesn't matter because we're rolling them on the count of three, but... I got a one. Can I re-roll it? Sure. It literally doesn't matter, though. Oh, you almost got another one. Okay. Everyone say night night to Evie. Night night, Evie. Good night, Evie. I love you. Good night, Evie. I love you. All right. So uh, we will basically roll at the same time. We will be rolling an attack uh, versus um, each person. Isn't Sir Ingress even going to greet her? Aren't they even going to have a little banter back and forth? Uh, I suppose we could. Well, don't sound so excited. So the the gentleman that appears before you in the morning there's not as many people that have been around uh as it was towards the evening hours but perhaps maybe some pr people prefer to sleep in not prudent she was there already like doing warm-ups and push-ups and shit in like the circle that people fight in the early worm gets the cheese. early don't you mean the bed second bed <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so the, the, this man appears before you. He is a shadow fae, although he does seem to have some age on his side, uh, and his oh, no. Burt Reynolds mustache. Mm -hmm. Um, he does in fact wear, uh, half plate red armor, usually. Uh, this time it is red dyed, uh, studded leather. And as he approaches, when he talks, uh, he again, his eyes also completely pitch black. Interesting. It is not Cute. the same person. Just... <laughs> sure, sure it isn't. <laughs> just want to make that real Here's clear. Sir Yngris and the Black Prince in the same place at the same time. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. Uh, so he walks up to you and he he bows 
Prudence will bow in her monos monostatic way. I am grateful that you decided to uh, counter offer my terms. Perhaps I was a bit too. Uh, it would have been too hard to pierce through my my half plate armor. She laughs. Well, I just thought I'd give you a fighting chance. I didn't want you to be too scared to fight me. Oh, I'm never scared. I appreciate dueling. The fact of being able to find out uh, a person's weak points and to be able to exploit them and then uh, to the victor go the spoils. Are you Exactly. Are you a fighter of honor? Of course. Good. I hope you are too. I am as well. Now, I hope that you are prepared for a loss. Are you mentally and emotionally prepared? She laughs. <laughs> you must be joking. Oh, I have dear. never lost a battle. In my old age, I <laughs> never joke. <laughs> what a lie. <laughs> Just, he says that from the crowd. He's like jeering at her. <laughs> Very quiet, like... <laughs> I, I will have you know, I just... Not, no need to brag about myself, but I shall. I uh, very quickly established myself as an esteemed fighter after beating Jurok, and of course, uh, I once, I once seemed to outwit Lady Sordaminx of the River Court. <laughs> she is indeed quite the capable caster fighter. Fascinating. I am sorry to say those names mean nothing to me, Sir Jarek. No. Oh. Oh, well, uh, my name is not Jarek, it's Yingris. Yingris, I'm so sorry. <laughs> what, you, what you will want to make sure you avoid, just uh, for those of, of you who perhaps are visiting the courts for a brief while, <laughs> you want to make sure to avoid Lord Ch uh, Chellisfield, the master of the Alpine, Baron Suvid, of course. Uh, they say sometimes he perhaps par uh, twilights as the ladies, the queen's assassin. Uh, he's the Lord of Blades, but then, of course, you wouldn't want to uh, challenge the Black Prince to a duel. That would be absolutely ab ab absurd. I don't think I've ever heard anybody who's been able to uh, successfully challenge and let alone defeat the, the Black Prince. Does the Black Prince accept any challenges? Oh, he does from time to time. Poor, poor sods that do challenge him get knocked down a peg. But oh, it's only very, oh, a very little bit of loss after a defeat from the Black Prince. So most of them take it in stride. I too, in fact, once challenged, and I didn't defeat him. But I was, I certainly learned a thing or two that day. What did you learn, out of curiosity? Not to do it again. <laughs> This guy is such a charmer. I adore him. So, shall we begin? Yes, of course. Good. Thank you. Now, again, just to make sure, because I want to make sure that we are both in agreement and understanding. If at any point in time you do decide that this is emotionally or physically too much... She is rolling her eyes. I Let's give you get this on with it, the complimentary red. white handkerchief to throw in the middle, <laughs> and we will... We will call it a draw and go our separate ways. What say you? I appreciate the gesture. She very politely hands the handkerchief back, but that would go against my pride. Oh, trust me, when you're as young and beautiful as you are, pride will come in droves. You can afford to lose some, and I'm afraid you will have to this morning. Shall we begin? <laughs> of course. She takes her stance. Okay. We about to we about to fight with Sir Yingris. So Sir Yingris takes his long sword and you notice that it is quite a a, a decorative long sword, but it does seem to be pretty solid. As he kind of wields it around, you notice a a sound that is different in the air than a, just a steel or an iron sword. And give me a perception check real quick. Okay. Interesting. We got this prudence. Twelve. You notice that this sword is not steel or iron. It is silver. Now, before we actually do fight, as a DM to player, are you secretly a werewolf? 
Uh, you have to tell Leo, me otherwise. I was about to say, Prudence looks at Lee Austin in my werewolf. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. All righty. So, uh, what? Well, so you should see Sir Yngris on the combat tracker. Yes. Let me pull it up. There he is. All right. Roll the so, hit. Uh, in a second. Hold on. Let me just double check. I'm ready to go. I understand. I want to punch. It's so, very angry. So we will go ahead when uh, in a, and on three. One, two, three. Oh my. <laughs> All right. What is your AC? Your AC is 15. 15. He missed by less than five. You, so his is a 14 if he's wearing the studded leather. So you miss by five, he gets a free hit. Stinky. Stinky indeed. Uh, oh my goodness. Now uh, that definitely hits. With a Does he hit her with his sword? He does. Uh, Prudence takes it in the side. He's obviously not, he's not cutting you open, but he is definitely like, uh, non-lethally hitting. Mm. <laughs> uh, and you take 11 points of damage. Oofy doofy. Oofy doofy. That's actually, why did I put the damage on him? That's not where that goes. <laughs> it's called reverse psychology. My <laughs> fatal <laughs> trap. <laughs> As a reaction, I go, I remember your glue, anything you hit me with, it bounces <laughs> off of me and hits you too. Uh, okay, so that was round one. One hit for Sir Yngris, even though the first was a miss for both. We ready for round two? I'm ready. Three, two, one, roll. Come on, Prudence. Prudence. Prue, Prue. Not looking good for you. It doesn't. He does get a 20, and that will be a second hit, and... That one is also another miss by five or more, so he's going to be able to get uh, two. One. And two. He looks at you and goes, Now, you are more than welcome to throw in the towel. I just want to let you know. coughs out blood on his sword as she's bent over it. Oh, no, this is steel. She grabs the sword in her hands. What, what are you doing? <laughs> the blade... I will not give up. Well, very well. I've just... I, I, I've heard that the the courtesans dance ball is tonight, and I wouldn't want to... Very well. This shall be <laughs> added to my list of victories that I shall gloat about in the tavern for... weeks to come. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Come on, Prudence. You got this, girl. I believe in you. Now, if you do obviously fall below, you're just going to fall unconscious. But <laughs> She needs a nap. She needs a power angry nap. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Come on, Prudence. Prudence, what the fuck, girl? Baby girl. Now, you didn't miss by five or more, so he doesn't get a free hit, but his 17 does hit. Do you have inspiration or anything? No. Okay. The last thing that you see before you fall unconscious is the uh, the gre the basically the silvery boots of Sir Yngris the Red um, that kind of stand facing your direction and the sword falling behind him and you fall unconscious to the shouts of him looking for someone to uh, to be able to kind of help him. Uh, watch over until someone can fetch uh, an accomplice or a, a friend of, of dear brave Prudence. As he, as she starts going down, Lee Austin just shoves through the crowd and is running towards her. Oh, uh, 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 good sir, are, are you here to cheer on your, your friend? I'm here to take her. Oh, very well. Um, uh, wait, miss, you were... Uh, you, uh... You see, White Miss is, like, kind of hungover and just kind of in a state of, like, 
I don't want to be here, but he, that's every day for him. He's <laughs> like, <laughs> mood. Yeah, sorry, English one. You know, plus one status. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Prudence suffers minus one to status. Does this mean that uh, uh, an automaton, I keep forgetting what they're called, is going to just like roll over and like rescind the invite? <laughs> By the way, <laughs> fuck off. Uh, the, the, the footmen. The footmen aren't, uh, are not marching their way here yet, but perhaps maybe we shall see. Uh, Lee Austin, uh, Prison didn't have a, a weapon, right? Nope. Uh, he just scoops her up and gives the the duelist a nod and carries her back to their broom closet. As you carry <laughs> Prudence away in this misty morning, um, you kind of hear the the applause die down a little bit for uh, for the duel and the voice of Sir Yngris going, oh, I, I certainly, you all witnessed, I made sure to give her the, uh, a towel, a, 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 a handkerchief to, to throw. Uh, I, uh, he was just kind of explaining his win in a very poor way. But a win nonetheless, as he will certainly go and admire his mustache for hours in the mirror. <laughs> Good for him! <laughs> Um, Leofson, <laughs> uh, Leofson's going to take her back to the the one bed in the broom closet, and uh, does the healing kit will that heal? Yeah. Okay. So Leofson's going to start seeing to her wounds and is very grumpy about it. So uh, I don't. I know you're keeping track of the use of the healing kits. So just yes. make sure you minus one off of that, and then you cannot use it the healing kit on Prudence again today. Okay. Gets immediately into another fight. <laughs> All right, Scrappy Do. <laughs> Let me at him. Let me at him. She is Scrappy Do. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> <laughs> I am not creative. I made Scrappy Do. Come back here and fight me, coward. Uh, you said like only take one. I, so I have three of them, and I've been keeping track of the number. Mm -hmm. I have fourteen left over. How many am I taking out? You're just one. you're combining all of them, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just just one. Yeah, just one. One, f one point or one full kit. One use of a healer's kit. Uh, uh, they have multiple charges. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So just one charge. Yes. Correct. That's going to get her to full because Lee Austin is going to try to get her as close to full as possible. Absolutely not, but you can only use a healer's kit on somebody once per day. Okay, okay, okay. So I believe. Oh, we haven't gone back to the uh. The what's it called? Oh God, uh, the notes, the things that stop showing me musical icons. Notes. Here we go. House rules. So obviously, uh. We got to look at the healer feet. Uh, because right now you only have one instance of it, so it should be D4s. But how much of those? We'll find out shortly. We haven't done any healer's kit healing in a while. Yeah. Uh, it's one D... Oh, it's currently... So it's a D6. So it's a D6 plus four hit points is what you could be able to hear. Heal. Okay. Am I am rolling that? Mm-hmm. Okay. So six. Ugh. So you're at 38 damage you've taken so far. So you have six hit points. So Prudence, you, the last thing you remember is the feet and the voice of Sir Yngris the Red and falling after a bit of uh, muddled anger slash uh, poor forms and maybe misguided uh, bravado. And you are, you find yourself in a familiar surrounding where you literally woke up just mo like maybe an hour or so ago. Um, back in your guys' stay in the Winter Palace, in the familiar cramped room of the servants court or the guest quarters, with Leofton and the leather bag of a healer's kit nearby. Prudence immediately shoots up and has her fists drawn, and she goes, <gasps> and looks around, sees Leofton. Mm -hmm. Oh, I lost. 
miserably, yes. She drops onto her side and turns her back to you. You don't have to stay here. I'm fine. You're not fine. I will be fine. I'm still working on you. She's quiet. If you're so mad at me, why are you helping me? Shouldn't this make you happy that I'm in pain? No. Just because I'm mad at you does not mean I want you to be in pain or suffer. That's news to me. And that makes him just big sigh and just like, he's like kind of like, crap, like kneeling by the way as he kind of just like sits back on his legs. I'm sorry, did that irritate you? Yes, it irritated me very much. I appreciate you asking in consideration <laughs> for my feelings. At that, she like turns around. She like rolls over and sits up on the bed and she winces because she's in severe pain and she's holding her ribs. Why are you mad at me? I did nothing. <laughs> Prudence's mantra. I did nothing. <laughs> I've never done anything wrong in my life. <laughs> Listen, I love you. Uh, Lee Austin looks her in the eye and like first of all, he's like trying to see if she's like trying to gaslight him or something. Mm -mm, she's completely <laughs> serious. Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> um, at that he kind of leans into her, but he doesn't, like, get in her face, but he just, like, kind of visually pushes back. You walked away from me when we were speaking. And the last person who did that was Olka. You've been treating me no better than she does. <gasps> oh, fuck. She... She has a look of utter embarrassment. Like, her face is just beet red. Is that- that's not- that's not, not fair! It's not, you are very correct. He, um, he's like holding like kind of like a bloody cloth that he was like cleaning up her- her blood- or whatever blood or bruises and he sets it aside like kind of like a big like flop like into like the- like a bowl of water next to them. Like, it's not fair at all. I mean that it's not fair for you to think that I would treat you that way. I don't have to think about it. You did. I was angry. Do you want me to yell at you instead? Because this is what you'll get. There's a way to have a conversation without yelling. I was concerned about you. And instead, you snubbed me and showed me great disrespect and walked away. She drops her head and stares down at her lap. Poppy, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the initial thing was she was going away because oh, I can't be in here, but then I had to bring her back so I didn't lose her. <laughs> Poppy's just like, I'm so sorry. I left my bag. I'll, I'll, I, I'll, I, I'll two minutes. My, yes, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't mind me. Scootin', scootin'. Oh, bye. I, I use, I can't use Blessing of the Trickster on myself. I'm sorry. Uh, as she's staring down at her lap, she looks at her bloody, bruised knuckles. Lee Austin. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry. I don't know if that means anything to you with how angry you are, but I'm sorry. I just didn't... I don't know how to talk when I'm angry. And I wanted to be alone. And I feel as though I have been treated poorly since we've gotten here. Nothing I say matters. Nobody seems to care about what direction I want to take things in. I... I just didn't think it'd be coming from you too. 
I thought you'd have my back. I thought you'd understand. He he heaves a big sigh and like as his knees started old man scream, he kind of like puts his hand on the ground and like moves to like sit rather than kneel. We are allowed to get angry with one another. That is normal. That is natural. Especially from who we are, to how we were raised, to different opinions. That's not what I'm upset about. It's the disrespect. If you need to walk away, you need to think about what you have to say. It's something I've learned that I needed to do as well. It's something Alka never learned to do. She would just viper snap. She would bite me. Inject the po venom. 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 It's venom, not poison. She would hurt when she was hurting. And I've learned that that's not how you make yourself feel better. And I think you have that tendency as well. You, you were pushed, I admit. You were in a corner and you were trying to defend yourself with your words. But you can't just shut me out and expect me to be alright. To not want to check on you, to protect you. You're not telling me something. And I know it. I'm not a fool. I... I don't want to treat you that way. And I know you don't mean to. I just... I wanted to leave the Austin. That makes him look up with her, like look up at her, like in actual real shock. I just thought that it would be better if I wasn't here. He, in an attempt to try to make it <laughs> and try to like lighten things up, he kind of like, like scoff laughs. You know that would make things much worse. What is though? Yes. He, he 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 waves his hand out to the door. You saw yourself after the after my appointment with the the blind seer. You were leading us. You stepped forward and you led the charge and decided what we needed to decide on. You're doing it. You are leading. They listened to you. You just. He kind of like pauses and thinks about how he wants to phrase this. What I love about you is your passion and your fire and how quickly you move to help somebody or into action. But sometimes your words are more scathing than you intend. Any kind of like gesture, for example, what we just talked about. And you don't, you don't put thought into your words or thought into your emotions before you speak and you say things I don't think you intend to say in a manner, but you have been speaking so ill of the Chateau Fay, but you forget. So is Poppy. Poppy is listening to everything you're saying and knows you're speaking about her people and who she is, or is learning to be. And you don't Consider that. Prudence goes through a wheel of emotions because when he says the word love, her eyes get really wide and she like, if she wasn't red before, she's red now. <laughs> but then he starts basically like telling her all these like things that are just the worst parts about herself and she's like crestfallen. And then she looks finally confused about what you say about Poppy. And she responds, what are you talking about? When Before we got here, I asked Poppy if she wanted to lead the Shadow Fane. She said she wasn't one. But still her people. This is still her home. It's a, granted, the home she has not known in a long, in a, some time. But don't you think she wants to build a connection while she's here? No, I don't think so. When we talked to her earlier about potentially being the bridge between Zobek... And this winter palace, she was incredibly disinterested. 
well, perhaps an elite role of leadership, but not completely disengaging from her own people. Prudence looks like she's thinking really hard and connecting some dots. Do you really think that she thinks everything I've said has been directed at her? He kind of, like, bobs his head thinking about it. Maybe not intentionally, but it is hard to hear somebody speak so illy, illy of somebody so similar to you or related to you or in some manner connected and not think that. She puts her head in her hands and groans. <laughs> he, he reaches out and like rubs her back. But wherever she's not hurt, like he try, try no, not to. It's, it's <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> he just hovers his hand above her back. I don't. Austin, I just keep messing things up. That is good. Well, it's not good. I was trying to be profound and I realized that's not the way I should go about this. You. Mistakes are bad. And mistakes feel bad. But instead of giving up, instead of shying away or from completely absolving yourself of the responsibility, you need to learn from this. And you have, and you've started to. You just have a little more work to do. And you're not the one to shy away from a battle. She laughs. Yes, even if it ends in defeat. You, you made him sweat. You should not, uh, should not take this victory. You should not take his victory too, too emboldening. He... She cackles and, like, checks you in the shoulder. <laughs> Don't lie to me. That was an awful fight. I was so angry I couldn't even focus. Kind of like chuckles and nods, like agreeing, but like I don't need to add anything else. You clearly, <laughs> you clearly saw the issue. I think you're a fine leader. You have a lot to learn and a lot of skills that you need to enhance, but they're still li they listen to you. I don't see why if I have all of these faults. Because despite your faults, you love them and you will protect them and you'll do anything for them. And they see that and they know that because they will do the same for you. She glances up at you, Lee Austin, and then looks away and she says, yes, I do love them. Very much. And that is why it might feel like a betrayal when they fight back with you. Because you are doing everything that uh, you believe is for their best interest. But while you, you did a fine job early, just try to remember to listen to them a little bit more. You're doing you'll you'll get there. It'll take some time. It'll take a few more times getting knocked on your ass, but <laughs> you will eventually find the balance. You spent all this time consoling me when you're the one who's hurt. Yeah. She gently places a hand on top of your head and ruffles your hair. You're very kind. He just like deadpan stares at her. Not kind, trying to keep the peace. <laughs> No, you're kind, Lee Austin. And then mm. she gives him a big kiss. He gives her a big kiss back. <laughs> like, whole jaw hold it and shit. <laughs> I'm kidding. Shut up! Poppy opens the door. <laughs> this is my Barbie's kissing. <laughs> it's my Barbie's kissing too! <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Also, you are not leaving this room until you're healed. Sorry. No. <laughs> also, <laughs> locks her in. <laughs> also, we need to talk. You know something. You should know something, but you don't know it. Well, that's he a wouldn't good point. have to lock her in. He would just have to close the door, and she would never figure out how to get out. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Do I get inspiration? Both, for both you and the target of, of, of get an inspiration point. <laughs> so you and Prudence get an inspiration point. 
Why can Yay. I do vicious mockery now, but not on Fridays when I play a character that has vicious mockery? <laughs> it's not in, the um, zone, not in the zone, champ. That is a good point. Poppy, do you think the conversation they would have would lead... So first of all, the conversation would lead to the and being like, fuck it, you tell her, I don't give a shit. I'm so mad right now. I'm going to put my armor on and be stinky. And like, <laughs> um, but this would be a good opportunity for Leofson to bring that up. Uh, two things that Poppy is going to do is one talk one talk about how we both know this thing about prudence and prudence seems to not remember and memory filters keep being a thing a common theme. Do you think this happened? Um, and then second is so anyway, uh, therapist Poppy in the room here. What's <laughs> up? What's up, kiddo? <laughs> you I don't talk want about to it? talk about it. He turns oh, chair around hat backwards. Hat. Turns hat backwards. <laughs> What's up, Hello, kid? fellow kid. <laughs> Zib is also wearing a backwards cap. <laughs> Amazing. I How did you find one so small? Oh, we we have a shop. We made it. <laughs> Dragon that clothing <laughs> shop. Poppy has made so many clothes for Wicket at this point. She can absolutely make clothes for Sib. Oh. Oh, also, I want to point out the fact that Sib is big backwards. <laughs> when Wicket died, just 20 different pairs of clothes dropped on the floor. <laughs> I asked Jordan if he could name her lantern dragonette um, Bicket, and he said no. <laughs> and then he took himself off mute and went, no, 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 god damn it, no. <laughs> um. So was that a yes, Poppy? A yes to what? Uh, really is question. I forgot your question. <laughs> I was gonna, yeah, I you're thinking it. about clothes. I'm um, thinking about clothes and Bicket. Do you think that the conversation would have led to like a feeling of Leofson should tell her, or do you think they would have talked? That's a good point. They probably would have mentioned the whole memory stuff and like mm -hmm. we should keep it on the back burner and then maybe maybe bring it up when uh, we're not in the middle of something like this yeah poppy basically will say as long as i remember that this is the thing that i said um i think poppy will basically say that uh we do need to bring it up to her but right now it does not seem like the time okay he he would have come back and said that she mentioned to me that if i ever heard that name before to like tell her about it so that's why he was so confused okay mm -hmm. all right so instead he'll probably just keep seeing to her wounds and maybe bring her some some breakfast. <laughs> breakfast. We also just like had you guys make up and stuff, and we don't want to make her angry again. <laughs> well, why True. not? That's so fucking good. Angry <laughs> Prudence is such a horrible, horrible character to play, but man. She's a monster and I love her. Does it cause drama? Uh I do I do wanna we'll start wrapping up here in a little bit. There's still obviously, you know, there, there's a whole lot of stuff going on, but I want to point out something that um, Sin, as yes. you, uh, as you had, how, whatever you choose to do with the remaining hours of the day before your long rest, um, uh, you're approached by someone. Uh-oh. Uh, well, I'll, I'll be at a, sort of a gruff, um... Kind of a gruff uh, female voice clears her throat, and while it doesn't have the accent that Prudence's has, but it, it's more uh, of the <clears throat> to catch your attention before you head through the uh, stairwell up to the executioner's gate. Uh, Sin pauses and turns around. There Look, is. Or where the noise came from. Uh, it came from the knife that's in your back. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> standing before you is clearly a roachling. Uh, you would assume female and be confirmed when she speaks. But uh, she looks at you and goes, I have noticed your fighting. M my name is Yukugrek. I would like to challenge you formally in a duel. Um, uh, uh, okay. 
I, I suppose that, that's fine. I've heard that you are perhaps uh, interested in uh, fighting and getting status, as well as uh, some have told me that you are interested in hunting. Is yes? Yes. Um. I. I. It, it, it's what I do for tr for trade. So uh, it's really quite enjoyable. Good. Do you accept? I, I do, yes. Perfect. When would be most agreeable to you, you for dueling? Um, well, I, I mean, I, I guess I don't need much time to prepare, so um, whenever it would be convenient. I suppose that the day's very, very young still. For those who are awake during the evening hours, Time is, in fact, of the essence. If you wouldn't mind just coming back down with me and having one more late night duel, please. Uh, uh, okay, that, that's that's fine. Excellent. And she uh, she strides. She is uh, wearing sort of like blue. She's wearing studded leather, uh, clearly, but beneath that is like a blue. Uh, like outfit I will post a picture from the wonderful artist Brian Seam once my snipping tool decides to participate oh god we're we looking up how to wikis <laughs> yeah the first ones basically propose marriage <laughs> oh boy yeah, they <laughs> based don't... on the picture they're cutting every corner in here now All right, <laughs> yeah see. Uh, oh, that's because I was using the wrong thing. Now let's try this again. So here's the picture of, again, I will say her name is Yakugrak. Yakrugrak. Krugrak. Uh, and you both go out to a rather sort of almost empty, not quite, um, arcade. She goes, I will le let you know, I am gifted with great power. I I am a capable combatant. Do, please do not underestimate me. No, I, I, I would never do that. Um, I, I, I'm capable, but um, I, I, I guess I still have a lot to learn. Very well. Please, per please make any preparations you wish. I will be removing my armor for this. Uh, you said she's wearing her armor. She's removing her armor. Removing her armor. Okay. I do not remember how I messed with mine before. I'm sure you know. Uh, the bit, ma the bit main thing to remember is that whatever your armor class would be minus your armor. So like. Um, I know her armor class, which is basically just 10 plus her dex. Um, and unless you have something... Uh... Go over to uh, inventory, and where it has your armor, you need to make sure it's not carried and not equipped. Well, yeah, but um, there was a way that I was... I had I had to take off the, the whole constitution and dexterity, I think is what it was. When you're not raging? What's that? What, what do you mean, constitution and dexterity? Yeah, when uh, I when I'm unarmored as a barbarian, mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be able to like have an armor class of a certain amount. Yeah, so your dex is two and your con is plus two, so you should have a fourteen. Fourteen. Yep. I'll see what happens when I take it off. Looks good to me. Okay. Uh, again, it's pretty pretty easy rules. Just three rounds of three attacks. If you miss by five or more, then it's a free hit for them. If they miss by five or more, it's a free hit for for you. Uh, do you want to roll initiative real quick just to put you towards the top of the combat tracker? It does not matter what number you roll. Anyone? Do 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 do. 
Ah, uh, yeah, she was grumbling earlier, I think. Mm. Uh, okay. L are you ready? I'm ready. All right. It's time to d d d d d d d duel. All right, three, two, one. Road and bones. Is it just a d20? No, this is your regular attack. Oh, I just rolled a d20. I've not dueled. You've dueled. I had a special duel. It's still rolling a regular attack. What is your attack bonus? Um, plus seven. Plus seven. Where's that at? Oh, for your Axe of Many Strikes? Yeah. Okay. So, a 13 is going to miss, but not by five or more. Um, Yukugurak, uh, it's a 16, which I believe does hit. Correct? Yep. Now, her normal attack does some things that we're not going to do here. Because um, she's not, obviously, in a combat combat. There we go. So you take eight uh, slashing, wait, yeah, eight piercing damage from her short sword. You see that she normally fights with two, but she is only using one, obviously, for the purposes of the duel. Uh, all right, round two. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, three, two, one. You better do good, or you're gonna end up in that bed with Prudence. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's it's not to me. It's it's the software. <laughs> it's it's the random number generator. Poppy and Tendi carrying Sin by the arms and the legs into the We closet. had to go upstairs. <laughs> we still fared better than we Austin that one time, though. Hey. Uh, that's a, that's a miss for both, but not by five or more for both of you. So um, that is th still a second round of combat. So Defend this, the convict's name. This is the last round of com uh, of combat. So hey. we will go ahead. Three, two, one. Amazing. Ooh. All these uh, rolls, man. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's a miss for both because you have. Oh no, a fourteen does hit. Correct. Correct. Okay, uh, so that is going to be another slash of the... You do see that when she would be preparing for your strike, she... Uh, give me a... Uh, what's better for you, investigation or uh, insight? Oh, insight for sure. Okay, go ahead and roll insight for me. I'm going to re-roll that. Yes. Is this thing busted? No, it's not busted. You can re-roll <laughs> once. It is busted, I promise. <laughs> you need to freezer your dice. All right. Um, you're Got a fit, dice you don't know exactly. Like, she's she's ha she has... Like, she couldn't have just... She could have just put that extra sword away. But it seems like she has it for a purpose. You don't know what, though. And as the duel itself concludes, she goes, well, that, that was, um, I expected. I, I figured you would go more like, like you did previously. No, oh, um, well, I mean, is that what you wanted? I, I, I wasn't sure. Oh, for one who wishes to climb the social ranks and do a one would want to be at their best at all times. Why would you ever settle for anything less? I, I, I guess I, I, I don't control it. It just it, it just happens. <laughs> it's out of my control somehow. Understood. <laughs> she, uh, give me another insight roll. As she kind of puts her swords away, and you try to read the look on her f quite foreign face. 
I can pretty much say that this is busted. What, uh, it's it's 11. Dice. You've uh, rolled six. Change six six in a row. Change. Ooh. You know what that means. Um, <laughs> change the color of your dice or something. The <laughs> Try anything. Ward that's summoned. Yeah, change your dice color and then re-roll and see if it's any better. <laughs> but I worked so hard to get this color. <laughs> uh, she... You can't quite read her expression. Um, and she leaves the conversation fairly short as she finishes going... I must retire for the evening if you wish to perhaps duel again. If your status allows it, then I will I will make sure to issue you a challenge. Okay, I, I, I would like that. Um, fighting you was, was pleasant. Thank you. I must I must go again. I time is of the essence. Uh, I bid you good night. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'll, I'll be seeing you. And as she runs away, a glass of beer falls behind her. It's actually a dagger she was going to murder Sin. <laughs> <laughs> this glass dagger fits only one sheath. I'm looking for the roach <laughs> thing it belongs to. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, Sin, as you uh, carry the damage you have taken from the duel to bed with you, um, obviously the morning, uh, is a brand new morning, which for most who, uh, you know, most who wake and are out and about, um, and don't get into duels with old Burt Reynolds, uh, Faye, um, today or this evening rather is the courtesans dance. Uh, you have options. You can, if you have a certain status, you have an invite as as the as they have asked you for your announcements the status you had yesterday may not uh, may impact or may not impact your ability to be invited into uh, as an honored guest for those who cannot be able to get their status to an appropriate level to receive an invite can certainly attend and work the uh, event as a servant or a serving staff so if you wish to go to this prestigious social event, which I'm sure will probably provide more questions than there would be answers, uh, and to see the queen in all of her glory, we will have to do that within the next week or so, depending on what you guys want to do. But yeah. I will, I will leave you to it for the evening. Good morning. <laughs>